come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god and I'm sure you've seen it, Ricky Gervais dismantling, destroying, destroying the fairy tales of Hollywood. Welcome back to Andrew Says. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. It's really about time somebody said something like this at these award shows. He went after Epstein, Weinstein, the Steens, most of all called out the celebrities for their self-righteous virtue signaling and wokeness nonsense, all while working with these people and overall being, of course, completely soulless. Let's see how much we can get away with reviewing here. Remember, YouTube, this is a review video. It's a reaction video. You can't take it down. We're going to do our best to go within the rules here. Um, season see. two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. Oh. Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. <laughs> so offended. You had to make uh -oh. your own way here and your own plane, didn't you? Right. How are you going to get offended by Epstein stuff? I mean, is there some sort of debate that it's not like completely evil stuff? All right, let's do some more. Uh, the rest of it are on my Twitter account, by the way. They're the full videos if you want to see them. Time, who cares? Oh. Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama, yeah. A superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing. Mm -hmm, of course. Made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, <laughs> well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean... I'm Pause it for a second. To Apple's credit, they are building a facility in Texas, I think it is. But still, you know, the Apple fortresses, I'll call them, in China. They have suicide nets to prevent people from committing suicide when they jump out the window. People live there at the facilities just to make these iPhones. It's crazy stuff. I think the only person he misses in this is uh, is pretty much Nike. Unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So or Iran these days. If you days. do win an award tonight, but don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spend less time <laughs> in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right? Very topical. Come up, accept your little awards, thank your agent and your god. And so, it's already three hours long. <laughs> Big Democrat donor Tom Hanks. Good guy Tom Hanks. Everybody loves Tom Hanks. Is there anybody more squeaky clean than him in the new, in uh, in Hollywood? I don't think so. So you see some people there didn't like it. Tom Hanks, whoever that woman was, obviously Tim Cook isn't going to like saying that uh, he worked with sweatshops. I'm sure De Niro didn't like anything. He's a big virtue signaler. I hate everybody kind of guy. He was laughing at jokes er earlier or later in the night, I guess, about him and Martin Scorsese. Or I think it was in the same speech, actually. So maybe he needs a little bit of cred for that. But even though this was the biggest thing the night of, the day after, millions and millions of views, everybody sharing it, everybody commenting on it, everybody loving what J Ricky Gervais said, Hollywood and the mainstream media, they still don't get it. They're still like, we're the ones who have to say stuff. Uh, we still have the moral high ground to tell you what's good and what's bad. And even in the same night, it still had nobody backed away from the things that they planned on doing. Their righteousness, their, they have to do the right thing and call out the injustices. They still had to do it. They didn't want to listen to Ricky Gervais. Washington Post review, everybody. Nobody cared. <laughs> It was the number one Twitter, Twitter trend. Nobody cared, you guys. Number one video in the entire world. Nobody cares, you guys. That's the theme of today's video, though. Nobody cares because it's so ridiculous. If you also don't care, then hit me up on Patreon. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe to this video. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell because YouTube limits my reach to like one-tenth of my subscribers. Help me out. Michelle Williams, you guys. You may remember her from Dawson's Creek. Shout out to Pacey. And Dawson, Pacey and Dawson for Life, the most normal people to come out of that show. Michelle Williams gave a pro-abortion speech while pregnant on stage. Nobody cared. <laughs> you guys. A pro-abortion speech while pregnant. That's like giving a pro-cigarette smoking speech while you're fighting stage 4 lung cancer. How many stages does lung cancer have? I don't know. But it's pretty ridiculous. Nobody cares. Nobody cared, okay? 
2.6 million views over 99% like to dislike ratio. Nobody cares, everybody. Take the video down. They're making fun of us, you guys. We can't have this happen. Take the video down. Unfortunately, Russell Crowe, he couldn't make it from Australia. The wildfires are keeping him there. Uh, but he did pass along his words from when he won an award. He got Jennifer Aniston to read what he wanted her to read. Let's take a look to that. Russell Crowe could not be here with us tonight because he is at home in Australia protecting his family from the devastating bushfires. What? <laughs> He sent along this message in case he won. Everybody get back. Make Firefighters, no I got this. The tragedy unfolding in Australia is climate change based. Oh. We need to act based on science, Ooh. move our global workforce to Very renewable edgy. energy, and respect our planet for the unique and amazing place it is. That way, we all have a future. Thank you. Reese Witherspoon did not give a sh about what she had to say. He couldn't make it, you guys. He was personally fighting off the fires. He was punching the wildfires out. <laughs> he's protecting. Not he's helping out with evacuations. Not he's securing his property to make sure things don't burn down. He's punching the flames. Nobody cares, you guys. That's the ironic part. Nobody actually cares about you celebrities and what you've got to say. It's about time somebody said it. Oh, it's the climate change, actually, what we're fighting here. Well, that's strange. It's actually people setting things on fire. There's actually nuance to this. I wonder where my Instagram donations are going. <laughs> it's not like the incumbent government there should be paying for this sort of stuff. We got a virtue signal. Good thing nobody cares. Poor Jennifer Aniston having to read that. How does she still look not, not that old at all? I think she's in her 50s. Good for her. Don't worry, though. Jennifer, don't worry, Russell. Don't worry, celebrities of the Golden Globes. I'm sure nobody took private jets from the East Coast or from England to get to there. I'm sure nobody did. I'm sure nobody took limousines or SUVs or Cadillac Escalades and whatnot. I'm sure they all took a bus, an electric bus, or they all shared the subway. Do they even have a subway there? I don't know. Probably not. I think San Francisco might. They all shared a Volvo or a an emissions-free Tesla. They all shared it, don't worry. No hypocrisy there at all. Nobody cared. So it's a good thing, right? It's actually ironic, the nobody cares thing, like I've been saying. Nobody cares about what these celebrities are saying, except for them, except for 10% of people on Twitter. Hello, you guys. Nobody actually cares, though. The celebrities don't actually care. Kaepernick doesn't actually care. LeBron James doesn't actually care. And who is that? Russell Crowe punching out the wildfires. He's bobbing and weaving. They don't actually care. You know what they care about? Money. Hey, they just want their money, you guys. When is this going to stop? 2020's got to be the time it stops. 2020's got to be the time we all get over this. We all got to stop. You know, me too. I care about Australia too, you guys. I don't care it's actually arson, but I give money anyways, even though you don't... F mm, ugh, it's so hard not to swear. Even though you don't care what it, or know, to know what it's actually about. Just give them money. California wildfires happens every, every year. Amazon wildfires happens every year. Uh, the government's doing it. Corporations are doing it. Oh, it's climate change, you guys. We got to give give a dollar to these companies. I'm sure they're going to stop it. I'm sure that's doing everything. Don't worry about poor people in your own country. Don't worry about your children or your neighbor's children. Oh, I got to look good on Instagram. It's getting ridiculous. Good thing nobody cares.